Humans have long sought to emulate the majestic synchrony of a flock of birds in flight. For a human, it means decades of training and teamwork, but for a bird, it's effortless. Collective movement phenomena in animals includes many spectacular yet familiar examples. I'm sure we have all marvelled at the remarkably instantaneous changes of direction that a flock of birds can display. Direction of motion, the abrupt splitting of a flock in flight, or a perfectly synchronised landing, all showcase this remarkable talent. So how do birds achieve this with such apparent ease? Scientists understand that these abilities are all signs of rapid collective decision making by group members, typically on a very short time scale, a sort of hive mind mentality that is mysterious in its workings. Four scientists in Hungary, led by Thomas Vitek, conducted a scientific study using homing pigeons to try and further understand collective movement in flying birds, and in particular, the behaviour rules that govern such phenomena. In their research paper entitled Hierarchical Group Dynamics in Pigeon Flocks, published in the Journal of Nature on the 8th of April 2010, they presented results from an experiment with homing pigeons. Through the innovations of GPS technology, these scientists were able to track movements of these pigeons flying in flocks of up to 10 individuals. They obtained these results by attaching high resolution, lightweight GPS devices to the birds kind of like little backpacks. They analysed the data using a variety of correlation functions inspired by common approaches used in statistical physics. The GPS devices are able to capture movement decisions at the scale of a fraction of a second. When fitted to every bird in the flock, the systems produce a detailed map of individual directional choice dynamics and potential leading activity within the flock. The birds utilised in the experiment were all homing pigeons aged from one to five years old and had plenty of miles on the clock as experienced racers. All subjects were initially fitted with plasticine dummy weights to get them used to carrying the weight. The weights were of no harm to the birds, weighing only 3-4% to of their whole body weight, so they were unlikely to introduce stress factors that could affect the results. Once they were used to the dummy weights, they were fitted with the GPS devices, ready to capture the next journey. The birds' movements were recorded under two conditions. Firstly, they were allowed to fly freely near the home loft, and secondly, they were recorded during homing flights. Considering the basic laws of collective motion, we expect individuals near the front of the group to be responsible for the majority of directional choices. This is evident in a variety of species, but for birds who have a field of vision spanning close to 340 degrees, this has historically been considered under dispute. This study, however, supports the notion that individuals occupying positions near the front also tend to assume leadership roles. The birds tended to follow one other specific individual, usually an individual higher up in the chain of command than themselves. A bird lower in the hierarchy follows them. This was ascertained from the data using a sequence of leading events. From an evolutionary perspective, the results showed that hierarchical organisation in group flight is far more efficient than an egalitarian one, exhibited in some species such as primates and humans, where every individual is equal. As such, birds are able to achieve amazing feats of group dynamic movements that are out of reach for other species.